y'all, it's the cute coffee gal, and I am back with part 26 of my decades challenge. Maria's out here doing a little bit of laundry on the porch, and I think that Joseph may have just gotten home from school. Yes, he did. So he has just uh, come home. He's probably got some homework that he needs to get done. And then I think that um, William is out. Yes, William is out here with the farm hands taking care of all of their crops that they've got out here. Everything needs uh, some watering, it looks like. So looks like we might have a few things that need to be evolved as well. So let's see, what else is getting good and sparkly out here? Is it just that one? A few more over here too, it looks like. Um, so that is definitely uh, something that he is working on here. Got to keep that money coming in. And I just saw Virginia got angry. She is, it looks like she's hungry. Let's, let's go and see what the deal is there. Uh-oh. She's making a mess. I think that she is about to pitch a fit. She got some flowers somehow. Oh, she's just making a complete disaster. What is in her inventory? So she's got something in here to drink. Go ahead. Is it empty, maybe? The sippy cup is empty. Okay, well, that's why she can't drink that then. Here, eat a carrot. And we'll go ahead and see what is in our fridge so that hopefully we can grab her a little something to eat. What all we got in here? Oh, now she's all playful from making a mess. Um, it does look like we've got some scrambled eggs with bacon. So let me just pop that into her inventory and we'll let her snack on that. And then let's get Joseph. Uh, oh, look at him being a good boy washing his dish. Let's go ahead and get him to do his homework. It looks like he's got a school project too. Um, so we might have him make that volcano. That'd be kind of fun. Um, all right. So one of the things that I had asked about in the last part. Oh, do we have a guest? We do. Who is this? This is his, I guess she's his cousin. Maybe. What would that family relationship be? Yes, Mildred is the daughter of Rose, and his dad is William. So this is his little cousin that's come over to play. That's kind of fun. Um, but in the last part, we did have our sweet little Richard was born, and he's just in here, just chilling, taking a little, a little time to himself like babies do. What's happening out here on the porch? Oh, we're cleaning up the mess. Well, oh my goodness, she made a complete disaster. Um, she went to go take a nap. She needs to, is this actually clean laundry? Is there a way to tell? I can never, you can tell once it gets like stuck on the clothesline. Um, okay, it is clean but soaked. Yes, let's load, um, let's move it to the clothesline. And then she needs to get this other stuff too because I think it's probably pretty bad as well. Um, one of the things that we talked about in the last part was getting a farm cat. And you guys did seem to like that idea. So I think we're going to do that in this part. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what is the best way to go about that. Oh, she's a little smelly here. Here, Daddy, come and wash her. Come give Virginia a bubble bath. Um, so there's not really like an animal shelter. You know, that wouldn't have been a thing. Um, why have you not come? Oh, because you're still doing your homework. You can finish that later. Animal shelters wouldn't really have been a thing back in the 1920s. Um... And I seriously doubt that a farm family would have bought a cat. Like, you can buy cats, and they, you know, cat breeding was a thing back then. So, not that that is not something that would have happened, period. I just don't think it's very realistic that this farm family would be buying a cat. Um, oh, we do need to come and harvest a few things. Why don't you come harvest all this stuff so that hopefully... Uh, it doesn't get taken by the farmhands. Um, so I, I'm kind of inclined to like go find a cat. We haven't had any strays wandering up in our onto the farm. And that's really probably what would have happened is a stray would have come by and they would have just adopted it. Or um, somebody else at another farm, their cat would have had kittens and they would have gotten it. So <sighs> I'm a little I'm a little not sure of the best way to do this, because I also don't think that they would go travel to get one. Maybe we should just adopt it over the phone and um, and kind of call it a day, pretend like it wandered up. You know what? Let's actually, let's just do that. All right, so Marie's going to pick it out because, of course, uh, she's the one who's the cat lover. So let's see, where is it? 
can't remember. No. It is in this, it's on the phone menu, right? I did not make that up. I wonder if we can't adopt one. Chatting. All right, now I feel like I'm going crazy, guys. Hire a service, that's right. It's under hire a service, sorry. Uh, it's been a long week. Okay, so we definitely are not selling. We're not adopting a child. Let's adopt a cat. It sounds like the baby is crying, so she'll have to go feed him too afterwards. Oh, nope, didn't mean to select that one. And I'm kind of tempted to get a kitten just because they're cute. <laughs> um, and because it'd be fun for the little the kids to play. Oh, Meryl is adorable. Oh my goodness. This one's cute too. Um, look at their ears. That's hysterical. I think I'm going to have to get, I'm going to get Meryl just because Meryl is adorable. No, not all of these. I just want the one. And Meryl is a female and she's not spayed. Um, I'm going to kind of leave it like that for the moment. Um, we'll have to see if we decide we want to have kittens or not later. Um, because spaying and neutering wasn't really a thing either. I actually think, let me check real quick. I kind of feel like that is one of the things that I, uh, researched when I was updating the rules for uh, cats and dogs. Let me, let me pull up my little rules sheet here. Yep. Okay. I just found it. So uh, once we hit the 1940s, so we've still got some time, but once we hit the 1940s, then the veterinary profession became more common. So we can take our pet to the vet if they're sick. And also that is when spaying and neutering becomes an option. So if our little kitten gets sick, we can't, we can't take it to the vet. Um, so that's kind of a risk that we're taking here. Um, I do know that in the Sims, um, if you ignore the sickness that an animal has, it does eventually go away, which is not really ideal, but, um, you know, there would have been like a farm vet that may have come and taken care of a, a very, very sick cat. But for the most part, they just kind of dealt with it. They were really hardy creatures. So, um, let's go ahead and let's feed him. Oh, he changed his dirty diaper. That's what he needs. And we'll have to keep an eye out. There it is already. Our little, um, adoption person. And let's go ahead. I think I'm trying to remember how we do this. Do I just click on, oh my goodness, look at the kitten. You guys, Meryl is so precious. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at this little fluff ball. That is so adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, here, wake up, sweet pea. I need you to not, not take a nap right now. You can take a nap in a minute. But you are going to come and adopt this little kitten right here. Oh, uh... Joseph is lonely at recess. Poor kid. Uh, last recess, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If that happens again, what should I do? Ask other kids if you can join in or talk to the teacher. Um, ask the other kids because you just need to, to buck up and do it yourself. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's come and adopt this little kitten. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Ah, yes, I'm sure. Oh my goodness, I was trying to zoom in and I failed at that miserably. All right, is Meryl really the name that we want for this cat though? I kind of think that that's, wouldn't cats have like had much more generic names? <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so I think I've come up with a good name. I'm gonna name her Dixie. I think that that would be really, really cute. Right, let's zoom on in and see our our sweet little thing. Come on. There she is. There she is. Yay, Dixie. Yay. Aw. Okay. And you can leave now. So cute. Okay. Sweet mama, you need to go rest because you are like so exhausted. So why don't you go ahead? Come on in here, go to sleep. Let's let that happen. Looks like daddy is tired again, too. Maybe it's time to send everybody home. Whoop, that zoomed out too far. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end the gathering because it looks like most everything is taken care of. 
So we'll end that and he'll go out there and harvest some things later. That'll be just fine. And then we do need to make sure that oh, Dixie is an affectionate cat. They like to follow their owners around the house. Okay, so that's a great trait for our, our little cat to have. We do need to discover what those other traits are. Here, William, why don't you come and get in the bed to sleep? Um, go ahead and rest. And Joseph, you, oh my gosh, no, 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 don't make a mess. Not okay. Meet new sibling. Have you seriously not met your baby brother yet? Oh, you should have met your brother when he was born. I guess we just didn't make that happen. All right, so why don't you go finish up your homework? Where is that? There it is. And what's baby sister doing? She is putting herself to bed. Everybody went to bed real early. It's just that kind of a night, I suppose. All right, well, that works. We do need to buy a few cat things for little Dixie. So let's go ahead and hop into build and buy real quick um, and see what we've got for pets that we need to make sure we, we take care of. All right, so we definitely need a food bowl. Um, a little stump actually might not be a bad idea just thinking about what would have been time period appropriate. Like these machines, definitely not. A plastic bowl, definitely not. And that one just looks so modern. But we could have carved something out of wood. I would believe that. Okay, let's do that. So let's go ahead. I think here in the kitchen makes sense that we need to turn it around so that she'll be able to get to it. There we go. And then um, where can she sleep? Uh, she can definitely sleep like on a whole bunch of furniture so I'm inclined to not get a pet bed like I don't think a pet bed probably would have been something they would have had actually the cat probably would just live in the barn and eat mice so you know it's we're already going out on a limb here I also don't think that we they would have had a litter box but for the sake of what we're doing here I think we need a litter box um, and so we've got just a plain litter pan we've also got the these that have like the hoods on them. I'd really like to get one of these laser ones or something, but nothing mechanical would have been around back then. So I think we just have to get the plain boring one, even though that's gonna make things really annoying for us. Uh, let's get the brown one just to kind of simulate, I guess, like wood or something. Um, I think the back porch makes sense. Try to make this be outside as much as possible. So here, let's do this. And we will stick it out here and then what other things do we definitely need to get I think some toys do make sense just because we don't have real mice for the cat to play with which would have been what would have happened so let's do um, yeah let's get one of these little squeaker toys we'll throw it just here in the living room and uh, a feather toy, I do I do think that a feather toy, like they probably would have rigged up some sort of toy. It wouldn't have looked quite like this. Um, but I do think that it's not entirely unrealistic to say a feather toy of some kind. So let's put that, I don't think we can put it like on the fireplace or anything. I think it's just gonna have to sit on the floor somewhere, right? Let's, let's put that over here in this little playroom area. Oh, we still need to clean that mess up. We'll just set it right there. Is that going to be in the way of the door? I can't tell. Let's here. How about we put it right here? I don't think it'll be in here. We need to here. We just need to get rid of this table because we never ever use it. Let's move our little kids activity bench over and then we can put it just right here in the middle of the floor. Okay, I think that'll work. And then scratching post, I definitely think a scratching post makes sense. Um, let's grab one of those and stick it maybe over here in the corner of the room. Whose painting was this? I can't remember. We'll just set it right here and that'll work. So this little corner of the room can be for the cat to scratch around in. And I think that might be everything that we need to get. Just a bunch of decals and things like that. And then some decor items, but none of that would have really been period appropriate. Yeah, I think we are good. Um, 
So that is that. And I did want to get one other thing uh, for the kids. I think that now would have been when like more different kinds of toys were coming around. And so I think maybe getting them an instrument would be kind of fun. Um, like the kids' violin, maybe. Let's see. Let's get this one. And we're just gonna set it. Can it go in here up against the window, maybe? Yeah, we'll have that right there. And so if any of the kids decide they wanna play the violin, that's something that they could pick up. And then also, um, while it doesn't look exactly time period appropriate, I think the function makes sense for, where is it? The, um, the little kid's doctor kit. I think that that is something that would have made sense for them to have back then. Here we go. We've got the doctor playset. I think this was the veterinarian. Oh no, it's just a teddy bear. Let's do it with a teddy bear. I like that idea. So I'm just gonna get one of those. I don't know if they'll actually play with it or not, but um, I do think that that's the kind of toy that they would have had back then as well. We've already got a whole bunch of um, like little horses and cat toys and things like that. They've got all those kinds of toys. Um, but I just kind of was thinking about what we could do to, to make things a little bit more advanced as we're moving forward. I also think a dollhouse would make a lot of sense, but um, they break so much that I'm kind of nervous to get one. I may change my mind as we move a little bit further in time, but at the moment this feels pretty good. So let's go ahead and hop back into play mode here. And then where is our sweet little, little kitten? Oh, right here. Here she is. Hi, Dixie. Is she hungry? I bet she's hungry. So Joseph has finished his homework. Can he fill the food bowl? I don't know if he can or not. Um, yes, he can. So let's fix it. We'll call D Dixie to eat and we'll go ahead and let that happen. And then he needs to have a little bit of fun. So maybe we will go ahead and have him um, play a little bit on the violin and see if he likes it or not. Or he could play with the doctor's kit, maybe. All right. Is he going to call her over? Yep. <laughs> Oh, look, and it made his responsibility go up. Perfect. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to play with the doctor's kit with him. I think that that could be kind of fun. So let's go ahead. And we will uh, watch him do that. Because I've actually never watched a kid play with this before. Oh, this is cute. Oh, he's like diagnosing it. All right, I want to see it from this side. I probably shouldn't have put it in the corner of the room, should I? I'm so bad at this, guys. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Oh, I can get it through tab mode a little bit. There he goes. Oh, that's so sweet. Checking out his teddy, making sure that his eyes are okay. You know, it's possible that maybe he'll want to grow up and be a doctor or... Or even a veterinarian, you know, time-wise, he will be, well, let's see, he'll probably be a teenager by the end of this decade. So it'll be a little early yet for him, but his kids could be, um, could be a veterinarian. I think that that would probably work out time-wise. And what skill is he building right now? Um, where is it? Oh my goodness. Uh, mental. Okay, perfect. That's great. Just thinking about some medicine. It's a sweet little interaction, and I know that there is some sort of trait that they could potentially get if they play with uh, the doctor's kid enough as a kid. Oh, and it's almost Virginia's birthday, so we might get a uh, a birthday during this part. That'd be kind of fun. All right, well, it is getting a little late, and pretty much everybody else is asleep, so I'm going to go ahead and um, speed on through the night, and I'll catch back up with you guys in the morning. So the kids have woken up, and we've got uh, Joseph's over here doing a little bit of drawing before school. And then we have sweet little Virginia's coming over here to play with the new kitten. Oh my goodness, I love these interactions between kittens and toddlers. It is so adorable. <laughs> She's like talking to it, trying to explain things. <laughs> so sweet. And the kitten's just like watching, like, uh-huh, and then what? And then what? <laughs> oh, it's talking to her. That tiny little voice. Do it again, do it again. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they are precious together. Oh, it's flopping all over the place. That's so cute. 
And Dixie's got two green eyes, I'm noticing, so that's pretty sweet. And then I think that, uh, let me double check here. I want to say that in the middle of the night, they discovered another trait about her. Let's see. Um, relationships. Oh, we got all of her traits. Okay, great. So she is, oh, come back here. She is, I want to hover over it. Oh, well, I can't. She's lazy, affectionate, and skittish. So she's a little bit of a scaredy cat, and she's kind of lazy. So she's probably going to be a bit of a fail as a farm cat. <laughs> but that's okay. And so Joseph looks like he just went off to school, so that's great. Let's go ahead and have him study hard while he is there. And um, it looks like our parents have woken up too. Uh-oh, and Dad has gone back to sleep again. How about you, Marie, clean this up real quick, because it is a bit of a mess. And then we probably should do a bit of a birthday party, I'm thinking, because it is going to be Virginia's birthday, and I also got a notification that it's going to be Richard's birthday. So we're going to have two aging up here. Um, and then what other things that I had wanted us to do, I wanted to really um, go and check on those other seeds one more time. Um, at the chalet. I mean, I feel like I have been doing this for 10 years now <laughs> within the same time of trying to get some more seeds for us to be able to plant some more things. Oh no, she's very playful. Um, why don't you not play and instead come and see to the baby? Because I think he is crying. Let's go ahead and give him a little bit of a feed there. And where did Virginia run off to? She's making a mess out in the yard. This is ridiculous. Daddy, why don't you come and entertain her? Because she clearly needs some entertaining. Um, oh, let's change her diaper. That's a good idea. But let's also um, play with her. We could make some funny faces. That'll be cute. And then we also want to, um, let's do some playing. We could also do some flashcards, too. I don't know if flashcards would have been a thing back then, but um, I think it's not a bad idea. Oh, and we need to pay our bills. So we'll have mom go out there and do that. Where is she? She's going to play cards again. She's like a card playing fiend. All right, uh, we have an unfinished assignment. When Joseph gets to class, he realizes his timeline is due, the one he was supposed to start weeks ago. He eyes the stack of papers fill it, piling up on his teacher's desk and all he needs is a few minutes alone with one. Oh no, you can't copy a classmate. You gotta confess the truth. All right, um, so he's getting a second chance. That's great. What's happening here? Uh, Joseph spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students. He didn't catch anybody, but the other students were run away. Too young for kissing or kids just being kids? Uh, too young for kissing. Don't be doing that. All right, come pay your bills and get your mail. And it looked like she was off to take a bath. Oh, she desperately needs it. So we'll go ahead and have her do that too. That is not a problem. So we'll have her take a bath when she gets done with the mail. And what has got Miss Virginia so... She's hungry. All right. So, Daddy, why don't you come in here and fix some food? Um, let's serve brunch. We'll make BLTs for everybody. Oh, they're doing this fun interaction that I always love so much. Oh, it's so cute. I love this one. So sweet. Oh my goodness. It's like exactly the kind of plaything that my dad would have done with me, you know? It's just super cute. Pretending to be an airplane. <laughs> oh, she loves her daddy so much. She was having a blast at that. All right, so he's going to fix some food so she'll be able to grab something to eat there. And I kind of feel like there was some laundry. Are you wrecking again? No, don't throw a tantrum and don't do this. Here, come inside and, like, make some shapes until the food gets ready. And the baby is crying again. Oh, my goodness. Our family's a bit of a mess this time around. All right, when you get out of the, of the bath, then I want you to come change his dirty diaper. And then do we need to hang laundry? I think we might. Replace the water. Is all the laundry hung? It must be. Okay. Uh-oh, we had a clothesline snap. That's not good. I didn't know that that was an option. So, Dad, after you're done cooking food, I think you need to... Um, let's go ahead and we'll repair it. 
We could replace it, but this is the time period when people would have repaired things, not replaced them. You know what I mean? Um, and then once, hopefully we get everybody's needs sorted out a little bit, we can, uh, no, sorry, Rose, not meet me anywhere. Uh, we can go ahead and do that birthday party. That would be great. Okay, so we now have, Joseph has come home from school and he's immediately started to do his homework. And we've just baked a cake. So I am going to have, oh, let's wake her up. Gotta wake up the birthday girl. Marie is going to bring, uh, Virginia to the cake. Oh, it looks like she was trying to grab some lunch. She can come back to that lunch in just a minute. Here, don't eat that lunch. Eat it in a minute. <laughs> First, you gotta go grab our little birthday girl and have her come and blow out her candles. <laughs> and it looks like she's angry about something. What's going on here? Oh, she's just really tired. All right. So let me zoom on in here, get a good birthday fo photo for us. All right. Sweet little girl. Oh, with her beautiful blonde hair there. Whoop! She's got pigtails and she is wearing a shirt that is not period appropriate. All right, let's go ahead, figure out what her uh, traits are going to be. Let me get my little the little website up so I can randomly generate that trait for her. Okay, and so it looks like what aspiration was generated was artistic prodigy. So let's go ahead and pop that one in there. And then I don't particularly care for her trait, but this is the way it generated. She is going to be mean. Um, I don't like that very much. I don't know that I've had a mean sim in a really long time. Uh, where is it? There it is, mean. So she's she's a moody artist is I guess the way that we can read this one. Um, all right, so that is that is Little Miss Virginia then. Um, and she definitely needs to have a decades appropriate makeover. So let's go ahead and um, testing cheats on, cast up full edit mode. And where is she? Let's go ahead, pause and go ahead and modify her in create a sim so I actually like this pigtail look that she is aged up with um, and these pigtails themselves actually I don't think are too inappropriate for the time period I want to look and see what other pigtail options we've got but I may wind up leaving her with those um, let's check out all of our pigtails this one, which I think that one probably is not appropriate. I think that's that's a little too contemporary. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So this is the one she aged up with. We've got these braids, which we have done before, but I actually think that they feel a little old timey for her. Like we're in the 1920s and this still would have been appropriate, especially for a farm girl. But since we've done it before, I think I'm gonna leave her with the shorter hair actually. All right, and so then let's see what is she What's she wearing? Oh goodness, no, 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 pants are not appropriate. Um, let's find her. Cute little something. Do I do a dress maybe? This is actually not too bad. I would think that this might be appropriate for somewhat, well, it is a little short. We could throw some tights on with it. What colors does it come in? That's too dressy. Some of these color combinations are a little too modern. Um, but this pink is not so bad. Let's see if we can make that work. Here, let's do the tights first. What do we have? Maybe white? Looks pretty good, I think. All right, what shoes could we throw with that? Um, I think those are probably too modern. What about... Like, we've still got these, but I think we're kind of like aged out of these at this point. Like, I feel like these are a little bit too old timey now. We're kind of at this in between stage on some of our, our clothing. And I did receive a request for, oh, those are not too bad. We might go with those. Or here, probably in black would be more appropriate. Um, yeah, definitely not white. Um, I think that those are probably be fine. I did have a request uh, for uh, from someone to do a CC showcase with all of the CC I've used for the Decades Challenge so far. Um, so I do think I will get that up for you guys. I have 
a spreadsheet where I keep track of where all my CC comes from, so it shouldn't be too difficult for me to put together. I don't like this neckline. I don't think that that would have been period appropriate. This is not too bad, though. Um, and so I can pull that together. Oh, no, let's go with one of these fancy dresses. Um, so be on the lookout for that a little bit later this week. I will try to get that up, um, for you guys. I do think that these shoes would be okay, though. She definitely needs some tights, though. Can't, can't have her legs showing. That would be extremely inappropriate. Do the shoes come in other colors? Because taupe would be kind of nice if the shoes come in other colors that work with it. Yeah, that doesn't really go with the dress, does it? You know, these are a little too booty, actually, now that I'm looking at them. They look like lace-up boots. Well, that's actually not so bad. Let's let's change the color of the tights, I think. Do -do 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 -do. Let's go back to white and see. I think we could get away with that. And then for Virginia's sportswear, this is definitely not right. Let's take that hat off and then go back out. Let's just go with our regular old farm clothes, barefoot with uh, with some overalls. That's the nice thing about the fact that we are a farm family instead of a city family is that some of this look can work for generations. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of nice. And then I do actually think that she wound up with the right uh, sleep shirt. She just needs to have it in the plain white. So that'll be fairly period appropriate, I think. And then let's get her something fun to wear. Oh, those glasses are cute, but they are not decade appropriate. Let's take all of that jewelry off. And let's see, could we give her something a little bit more fun? Do we have anything that would be appropriate? Actually, this kind of looks like, you know, I'm thinking Art Deco in the 1920s. She probably could get away with that. And then maybe even in some of these bright colors, because that would have been something they did. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let's do that. That's kind of a fun party look. I know that we're not really going to many parties, but hey, it'll work. And then I do think I'm going to toss these shoes on her, just because you can't see most of it. And so what you can see is period appropriate. And then maybe for her hair, when it's party time, she would have done something a little bit different than just the pigtails. Let's... Let's see, what length would that hair be? I think that that length's probably about right. It's kind of got that same bobbed look. Probably should do that for her formal wear too. Yeah, I think that that's about right. And then for swimwear, oh, let's take your accessory off, sweet pea. Um, there's that. And we need to definitely look at uh, the period appropriate swimwear. Oh, sorry, it's not full body, is it? That's why I'm having a hard time finding it. And it's also, I want to say it's not coded as swimwear. It's this particular CC, the Edwardian swimsuit that I wear for the kids. Um, maybe it is full body. It's not categorized very helpfully, so I always have to kind of dig around to find it. Let's see, is it in this one? Uh, this might be the one that for girls I can't, like for guys I can find it, but for girls I can't find the top. Let's see, there's the shorts. So what about a top? Do we have the top? See, it's not showing up for a girl. If she was a guy, it would be showing up. That's why it's kind of frustrating. But honestly, the what she's wearing, this little tank, it's not really appropriate, but I think we can get by with it. So we'll just go ahead and move forward with that so that is miss virginia we'll go ahead and pop back into the game and like i said i did get a notification for richard aging up too so if he ages up by the end of the day then that'll be great and if not then it'll just be in the next part so i did kind of want to do that school project that joseph brought home and now that virginia is um, a child she can help with it as well so that might be the next thing that we do is kind of get them to pull that together maybe with some help from mom let's see where should we put it well it was a volcano so i'm kind of inclined to do it outside maybe we'll do it out here on the front lawn i think we've done school projects out here before but that way we don't make a massive mess you know in the middle of a house 
let's go ahead and pull that out here and go ahead and start working carefully. And we'll have your sister come and join you. And we'll also have their mom come and join you. And then um, dad is going to actually go run over to the chalet to see if he can find any more seeds to gather. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to make that happen for a really long time. How are things going over here? Oh, we've got some stuff that needs to get harvested. Okay, so we'll have to do that too before it gets too late in the evening. All right, so can you assist with... Here, are you started? Can we... There we go, assist with project. And then, Mom, I want you to assist with project as well. And once they all kind of get going here, perfect. Oh my goodness, they're all so blonde. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? We're making our our mold, I guess. And we also have a habit of always working on these school projects when people smell bad. Like, look at him being all stinky. What else is new? <laughs> they are really sweet together, I think. So cute. So cute. All right. So I'm going to have Dad run to uh, to Chalet Gardens real quick. Where are you, William? Oh, you're upstairs asleep. We haven't been upstairs in the whole part. Oh, that tub looks a little dirty. We probably need to do some cleaning around the house. Let's go ahead and have him travel, though. Oh, nope. Wrong button. Go ahead and travel by himself and we're gonna have him go run over and check out those plants and then i'll be right back to the house so see this is ridiculous you guys so we have been coming here ever since uh samuel was the one who used to come here all the time trying to wait for these things to be ready to be harvested and if you look they're like all ready to be evolved but nothing is ready to be harvested like these mushrooms are ready to be harvested that's it all of these other plants, none of it is ready to be harvested. Um, and what I really wanted was, um, let's see, what were the things I wanted? We've got, I think, I don't know that we have any onions or potatoes. I can't remember. But the really big one is actually one of the trees. Um, yeah, I think we've got all the rest of that. But I really wanted to get some pears um, and some lemons. So and we've got pears and lemons and cherries, which... I don't know that we have, we might have lemons already, but I don't think we have pears or cherries. Um, and they just are never, ever ready to be harvested. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't know what to do to speed up this process. Obviously, we've been here enough times that things are ready to be evolved. So why is nothing ready to be harvested? Like, is this actually a glitch in the game? Is this something that, oh, 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 wait, hold on. <gasps> This one's ready to be harvested. Okay, maybe maybe today is the magic day. All right, so I'm not gonna go back home yet. I'm gonna stay here and see if more things will become harvestable. Um, and uh, then we'll just he'll just have a he's has a business trip. He's got on a buying trip uh, away from away from town, you know, to go see a seed buyer somewhere else. That's that's what I'm. That's what's happening here. Aha! What's this one? Is this carrots? No, this is a potato. Excellent. Okay, that's definitely what we're doing here. Okay, so that turned out to be a really long buying trip, and it is already the next evening. Um, and it looks like... Is this plate even still good? It is. Here, why don't you eat that sandwich that's on the ground over there? And is this... Oh! Oh! Hold up! Hold up! <gasps> is Marie expecting? She is! We're gonna have another baby, you guys! Well, that happened while we were out of town. Okay, uh, did this get finished? Um, it did not get finished. Here, why don't you come and finish your school project? You can assist him. Um, and then I do think that our little Richard is probably gonna be aging up, uh, this evening. And how's the kitten doing? Kitten seems to be doing okay. Do we need to fill that food bowl? No, there's still some food in there. Okay. So, um, things that we got uh, from the garden. A lot of uh, vegetables and fruits and things that we already have. 
Unfortunately, those cherry trees and pear trees did not start uh, fruiting yet, so I was not able to get those. I'm trying to remember, do I even have... Okay, I already have pears. Maybe it was just the cherries that I don't have. See, these are lemons. I knew there was something there that I needed. Lemons, plantains, these are all pear, I think. And then I know that these are all apples. So that's what it was. I just need uh, the cherry tree. Um, but also, interestingly, we got um, several kinds of catnip. So we've got, uh, this is mad nip, nuzzle nip. Um, there are a few more. Let's see. Nap nip and what is this? Just catnip. So we can probably plant those as well. I don't think we need any onions. I think we already have onion plants. Um, we have carrots, chamomile, sage. I know we've got all those. Okay, so there's the potatoes. I thought we had those. Um, oh, our spinach is looking really rough. Um, what are these? Onions. Okay, that's what I thought. So we can go ahead and sell most of this. Where is he? He's in here taking a bath. Good. Oh my goodness. Child, what are you doing? Virginia, no, 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 no. Here, you gotta clean that mess up. Clean that up yourself. And then do your homework. For crying out loud. Um, and then we need, let's see, finish selling all of these. And then we need Richard to age up. Ah, that's not good either. Are you here? Wake up, Mama. Go ahead and repair that. And then he's in here crying. So let's go ahead. I'm assuming... Oh, no. Dirty diaper. And he might age up when we do this. Because I'm pretty sure that he was supposed to age up while we were on our buying trip. And oh my goodness, we've got laundry all over the place. That won't go in the hamper. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. Things seem to be getting a little bit hectic around here, don't they? <laughs> um, let's see. You do not need to play a card game. You need to go see about your baby. Um, is she actually doing her homework? She is. Good girl. And is he finishing that school project? Excellent. And then after that, he can do his homework. And it looks like the, the cat's not too happy either, so we'll have to go and see about her. Um, let's go ahead. Is it age up time? I think it is. Hold on. Pause. Don't go play cards. Don't grab a serving of that. I think it's his time to age up. Well, it'll automatically do it. Okay, so I'll go ahead. I'm going to sell all this stuff, and he'll probably age up while I'm in the middle of doing that. And the kids have tried to go to bed, but I think they've got monsters. Yep, let's spray the monsters under the bed. You know, I actually think the reason why we didn't originally have the uh, little nightlight with the monster control was because we couldn't have electricity. But now that we're allowed to have lamps and overhead lights and stuff, I think we could probably buy those, even though they're so garish. I wish... Has somebody done, like, a recolor just to make them be, like, normal? Surely somebody has. If you know in, in the comments below, let me know um, if, they're, if somebody has done the uh the kids like nightmare lamp but in like normal colors not like because here when we find it the way that it is now is um it just looks kind of tacky in my opinion which like if you're doing a cutesy kids room it works fine but that's obviously not what we're doing here here it is so see it's got like it's cute it's got these little critters on it so in that regard it's kind of cute but there's not just like a plain version that doesn't have any drawings on it, which makes things like this kind of difficult. So I guess we'll go for, this one seems to be the one with the least amount of colors. So we'll do it. See, it just doesn't go at all with the decor of this room. Like if it was just plain white or even just a plain color. And let's go ahead and throw one in here with the toddler room too, even though we don't have any toddlers right now, we will very soon. Why is that not going up on the wall like the other one? There it goes. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. There we go. Okay. Um, and we can auto light these. Let's go ahead and... I guess not. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't make sense for it to be an auto light because it's supposed to be a night light. So, did we spray the monster under both beds? Are we done with that? Want to make sure that these kids can go back to sleep. 
I got school tomorrow. And then here, why don't you come and um, not use the toilet, but clean it? Because it's getting nasty because your wife is pregnant again. All right, here, go to sleep. And you, kid, go to sleep. And hopefully this nightlight will do its job. Um, all right, everybody getting back in the bed? Are you getting back in the bed? You're eating something. That's fine. You do you. Ooh, and it looks like we've got an aging up kitten. Dixie has aged up. Dixie has grown from a kitten into an adult cat. She will now climb stairs as well as hopping onto and resting on higher flat surfaces. She can also mate with other cats if she isn't spayed. Hooray for Dixie. Let's take a look at her. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Turn back around. I want to see you. I want to see you, little Dixie cat. Oh, look at her. She's so pretty. Let's get in close so we can actually see her. Oh. Sweet little thing. I love her. Yay, Dixie. All right. Well, let's make sure she's got some food. I hadn't checked on it in a couple hours. Uh, this is like the never ending food bowl. It's kind of great, actually. Um, so he is. Oh, no. Here, no, no, no. Stop. You got to fix that before you can go to bed. I know it's like crazy the middle of the night, but that's just kind of how this works. And then you can sleep. And Mama, why don't you go ahead and sleep just so your sleep schedule is on par with everybody else's. And as soon as this baby ages up, uh, I'll be done for the day because we've been playing for quite some time. Um, but I really wanted to see what little Richard looked like when he ages up. Oh, and here he goes. He has just aged up. And we need to figure out what his trait is going to be. So little Richard has generated the clingy trait. So he's going to be a a bit of a clingy toddler. And let's take a good look at him and see. Oh, no, no, here. I want to see what he looks like. Oh, he aged up with glasses. That's so cute. I wonder, would kids have worn glasses back then? I'll have to look into that. I'll have to. Oh, no, he's sad. Why is he so sad? He has a lot of gifts. We should check the mail. Um, I will have to kind of research and see if kids would have worn glasses back then, but if they would have, I will totally keep him in glasses. Not hot pink glasses, because I don't think that would be quite right, but glasses nonetheless. And I'm so entertained by the fact that he's got blonde hair. Like, all of these children have blonde hair. None of them have their daddy's brown hair, so it's kind of funny. But I am going to end this part here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are enjoying this little family. I know the, the parts are a little bit here or there at the moment because I am really busy with work and school. But I am still very much enjoying playing this family. And I can't wait to see where they head next. So if you would, please give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and hit that little notification bell so that you'll know every time I have a new Decades Challenge uh, video out or any other video on my channel. I'm also currently playing uh, the Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery Mobile game and a few other Sims games as well. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.